My name is Jem Dumble. I'm down at Steel Monkey Engineering Limited where we constructed the Twisted Chimney. We're in the heart of Bedminster, Bristol. And my background is a self-taught 3D CAD artist. We were approached by Brian Toll Studio with, uh, with visuals of the Twisted Chimney. And we were then asked for a proposal of how we would go about actually constructing it. So we approached it from that angle, suggesting that we do a steel, steel frame substructure with polystyrene cladding carved to make brickwork and call it covered with a polyurea spray and then scenic art finish on it. We then developed that idea into something we could actually manageably fabricate. Overall there's been roughly 20 people working on the project overall, three or four of us in actual planning this project, six or seven welders involved and then the same on poly carving and two, two or three scenic artists. Polystyrene as itself is just uh, a material that in my, in my line of work we're always trying to make it look like something else, make it look like wood or make it look like steel or in this case brick. So we had to work with it in such a way that we would, uh, the finished object would look like lots of bricks stuck together rather than sheets of polystyrene with marks made in them. We discussed how it would be the best way to, uh, to get a continuous surface over the whole object because it's split into eight separate units, seven of which have to connect together. We needed to, uh, to find a way of um, working over the whole thing. We never saw it in one piece, so we developed a set of rules and uh, methods of working which will give a really consistent finish throughout the whole thing. You know, we started at one end and worked through to the other, and we needed the area where we began the job and the area where we finished the job. The brick pattern had to um, continue from one unit to the next, so a lot of effort went into um, moving the pieces around and marking them up carefully just to make sure that we got, when the, they were all put together, we got that feeling of a whole single object. With some other jobs, we are given a lot more leeway, but with this, it was very, very specific. The sizes, the look of, the look of everything, and, um, and how, how it had to function. We all knew working on this project this is going to be a fixed thing and uh, it was going to stand hopefully for 20 years plus and that people would have a relationship with it and an opinion about it, which is a very different feeling from purely commercial projects. I'm Brian Toll, I'm an artist who lives and works in New York. I really like to immerse myself in the culture that I'm working in. Care Philly has a, a very interesting history. A very large part of the history involves uh, the Industrial Revolution. In the 19th century, it was the center of almost all the steel production in the world. The landscape that existed there, say 200 years ago, looked quite differently than the landscape that currently exists. And so where there were fields of smokestacks in, in the 1820s, we now have um, pastoral valleys. I began thinking very seriously about the fact that you know, all the paintings that I, I saw from that period, there were these, these great smokestacks, like forests throughout the valleys. These chimneys stood so straight and they're so erect and so monumental. What would happen if, if I sort of metaphorically wrenched it, twisted it, plunged it back into the earth, and through its own kind of, you know, willful, you know, historical reassertion, it re-emerged from beneath the earth. Arriving at the site and approaching it, I felt pretty, pretty gratified when I realized that it was really, in fact, of a scale that made sense um, to that site and in that location. I might be happy with it, you know, and I might feel as though I did my job as an artist, 
but that's not to say that the people who who asked me to, to think about them and this place and make a work that represents you know their hopes and um, ambitions um, would like it it seemed to me that um, they all were very very appreciative and uh, seemed to really enjoy the work and very grateful for it so you know can't ask for much more than that A warm welcome to Wales and to Caerphilly, uh, both to, to Brian uh, Toll uh, and to Viard Stark from Savle. And uh, a great congratulations and a thank you for putting such a, a auspicious artwork within the community of, of Rumney. It does reflect our heritage, it does reflect perhaps from my discussion with Brian how we, we've it been an industrial. Uh, heartland and, and how that's changed and chimney Dirdro uh, reflects that in terms of twisted chimney means uh, and, and in its format it's a change of circumstances from one to, to other and, and nice to see it is coming out of the back uh, behind us here uh, and, and that's how the community probably looks at itself it's gone through phases and we're looking towards a better future I think we all look forward to that